Aaron, uh, let's start off with uh, Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Aaron, congrats on the win tonight. When you see guys like Daryl and Jarius and Dante just battling on the low block, Coach talked about how he, it seems like you guys were a lot tougher tonight. Just how much energy and how much of an infectious attitude does that bring you guys just throughout the team to kind of elevate your defensive intensity and elevate your toughness level as a group? Yeah, I mean, just because we know it's a mismatch and those guys are smaller than like the power forwards and the centers that they are guarding, I think that, you know, just gives us a lot of energy in itself just because we know that they're down there battling, like they're working as hard as they can to make sure that these bigs aren't, you know, getting good looks, that they're not, you know, posting, like getting easy looks in the post. And so knowing that, I def I think it makes, uh, it's, it's kind of contagious, the energy, uh, the hard work, you know, the, eth the uh, effort that everyone's putting in, I think kind of boosts our level of uh, energy just because we know that they're, those two are working as hard as they can. So there's no reason we shouldn't be able to contain our matchups. And, uh, you know, it, it has a huge effect on us. And then for you personally, offensively, it seemed like when Brad Davison was guarding you on a lot of possessions tonight, given your size advantage over him, you wanted to attack and go at the basket. Was that a point of emphasis for you entering tonight's game? Yeah, I mean, a point of emphasis was just making sure, you know, I was being aggressive and uh, taking open shots. Um, you know, it wasn't anything, you know, directed towards him or anything. It was just like, you know, to make sure I was being aggressive. And when I saw an open lane, you know, I just tried to drive it. <clears throat> Daniel Oyafusi. Um, hey, Aaron, there was a stretch um, from the late, late in the first half to early in the second half where you guys missed about 11 straight shots and then uh, you made nine straight and then uh, in the second and made 11 of your final 12. I mean, was there like any, did you guys say anything in the second half to kind of, I mean, at halftime to turn things around and he, have you personally ever experienced, you know, kind of a, a shooting slump and then getting hot like that as, as a collective team? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was just a matter of us, you know, executing plays, uh, you know, making sure we were getting good looks at one point we were just coming down and we were just uh, shooting the first shot that we had open after guarding, you know, 25 seconds and, in, in, you know, on the defensive end. So, I mean, it was just a matter of us getting good shots. And, I mean, there have been multiple times where our team, you know, we might not be shooting the ball well, but we're still able to, you know, go on a run eventually. Or we, we know that our time's coming because basketball is just a game of runs. And uh, when things aren't going our way, we know it's just a matter of time before, you know, things flip and we have a little run for, in us. Andy Koska. Hey, Aaron, uh, what has this road trip done for the team chemistry? Just being together all this time, all these team meetings, I mean, what, is, what has that done for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously just brought us uh, a lot closer. It's brought us together. I mean, having to spend the holidays with one another, you know, in a hotel, on the bus, on the plane, just traveling and being all around each other. I mean, we, we had to grow. We had to really treat each other like family. And I think it is really good for us. We got to know the ins and outs of each other. And I think, I think it'll be really good for us. Mark Viviano. Hey, Aaron, it's a long season. Here it is, late December. It's a big win. What does it mean to you guys to have done this tonight? And how do you carry this forward? How can you make this matter later in the season? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I think it. I think it's big for us just because it shows us what we're capable of. Uh, I think that that's something that we're able to do in and out, you know, playing like that day in and out. Uh, I feel like every game we play, if we play with that amount of composure and that amount of focus and, you know, passion, I think, I think we can beat any team in the conference. And uh, it's just a matter of us, you know, believing that, you know, we, we, we are capable of that, capable of that. So, I mean, it shows, you know, what we can do. And I, I think it'll be good for us. Lila Bromberg. Hey, Aaron. Um, Eric mentioned kind of the moment after the game where, you know, Trojan got really excited and broke the clipboard as like one of his favorite moments of a celebration. For you, what was your favorite part of kind of that celebration after getting such a big win, whether it was yeah. that or the locker room? I mean, it was definitely that. I mean, I think, I don't remember what it was when Terrigen broke his board, but he, you know, he said, you know, we, we emphasize in practice over the last week or so, you know, regardless of the circumstance, make, let's, let's get things done. And uh, I think it was some, something didn't go our way. And, and Terrigen said, he doesn't care. He said, let's, let's get this win. And he broke the backboard. I mean, the, uh, the drawing board. And I mean, it was, it was, it was just a big boost for us. We got a lot of energy. And uh, I mean, it, it, it gave us a, a good spark. And if you remember, like, at what point was that in, in the game? Oh, I mean, it was the last four minutes, maybe six minute mark, six, four minute mark. I don't know, somewhere around there, eight or four minute mark, one of the last two TV timeouts. And just, you know, having the steady improvement <laughs> and getting this win and then kind of also knowing that you're adding James Graham, um, you know, coming up, just how much confidence um, do you guys kind of feel right now with the momentum shifting? Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be. I think James will be a really good piece for us. I mean, he's coming in. He's really talented. He's a big, 
a big wing, big guard type guy. So, I mean, I think it'll be good for us. But, uh, I mean, coming off this win, you know, seeing how much better we got against Purdue, even though we lost, you know, there was a lot of things that we could take from that game and even this game tonight. So, I mean, we just I – th- I definitely think we're in a good spot and we just got to build on where we are. Last question for Aaron, please. Uh, David Suggs. Hey, Aaron. Um, you know, kind of Coach and uh, Eric kind of mentioned how important this road trip was just in, um, you know, helping kind of get more comfortable with the team. I'm um, talking about like PlayStation tournaments and team dinners and stuff like that. Um, yeah. After kind of the summer that y'all had, you know, not being able to maybe do things in, you know, the normal way, um, how much do you kind of enjoy this trip, just getting a chance to kind of really be with the guys? Obviously, you know, as you said, in some weirder environments. Um, how was it for you personally? Yeah, I mean, I, th- I think it's something that we enjoy a lot, especially me. Um, you know, it's not a lot of things that we can do outside of basketball practice and just being in our apartments together uh, as a group. So uh, I think being on the road, traveling together, you know, it just allows us to spend time with each other outside of basketball, you know, getting to know each other's personal lives, family, things of that nature. And I mean, we had 2K tournaments, we ate lunch, you know, like we were together outside of basketball, doing things outside of basketball, even if it was just on the bus, you know, playing games or something, watching movies. So, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it'll, it's a really big th- deal for me, I think, because, it, you know, chemistry-wise, it, it just brings us closer. All right, Aaron, appreciate your time. Thank